Hey, what's up, guys? It's Donaps, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to change the background in photos. So, what we're just gonna do here is just take a photo of the object, and I'm doing this in front of a green screen, and I'll explain that later in the video. But um, you can also do this with the photo you already have. But once you've taken the photo, just go ahead and export it to your computer. Alright, once you're at the computer here, I have already exported my photos to the desktop. We are just going to go ahead and open iMovie up here. Now we're going to take our two photos and the background is my outro and this is the image I'm going to use the green screen with. So that's where the background will be replaced. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag them in. And then I want to drag the background right here and drag it into the editor and just extend it a bit this doesn't have to be too long but more than 10 seconds should be good and then once we're good here we just want to drag our image on top and this is our image we want to overlay click on uh, crop and just crop to fill depending on what your camera is you may not need to do this and okay and we also have to extend this clip as well it does not need to be that long so now we're just going to go ahead and just basically change the background by clicking that picture in picture icon, by clicking on cutaway and then selecting green slash blue screen and that will change the background and as you can see there is some uh, white spot and we can easily fix that. So we'll easily fix that and we'll just go ahead and go to the eraser tool and just click that and just click over the area and as you can see it does fix that uh, problem. Hit the check mark once you are done and just now you are done you have replaced the image if you want to make any adjustments you can do that but now basically we're going to take a screenshot by pressing command shift 4 and just selecting that window it will automatically save to your desktop as you can see there or to take a high res screenshot just go full screen let the video play for a bit make sure the bar in the bottom disappears and then you press command shift 4 and space and that will make the uh, screen blue and then just click with your mouse and it will be saved onto your desktop if you do want to make adjustments you can adjust this however you want you can crop this uh, you can clean it up more whatever you like you can do that is all up to you you can crop the picture you can do whatever you want with this once you have replaced the green screen and now let's uh, head on and this is our final product as we can see this was done in iMovie itself this is a free software but now we're gonna open up our original image in the preview app and we are just gonna crop the iPhone box out and we're gonna add a background to it which is something completely different now we're gonna click on the crop section and s click smart lasso and just draw a line around it around the object you wanna crop just go ahead and hit crop up top it'll convert it to a PNG and that is okay and then you want to use the uh, smart lasso tool again and just drag over the box as much as you can this may take some time but uh, it does not have to be perfect alright so I'm almost done here and once it has selected the box, so that was actually a pretty good cut, and just hit crop. In case you miss something out, uh, this does seem to be good for now, but you can uh, use other tools as well. You can crop it again. But now we're just going to export it to the desktop here and just name it whatever you want. And there you go, it pops up on the desktop. Now if I see, there looks like there's some white spots around the phone. So if I do not want that here, then all we have to do is just go ahead and go back to the image. And what we're going to do is you can go again and crop it again or use the little magic wand tool. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and try and crop it again. Again, this may not be perfect like here. I, this is not going to be a perfect cut. See, it was a bit messed up there. Again, this will take a uh, trial and error. Now um, we're just going to be using the wand tool and basically you just have to click and drag over the image and just make sure the box is only selected and hit crop 
and then just hit um, you can export this again to make sure it is saved and it will replace the file okay there's our new file now for this step we're just gonna go ahead and add a custom background to our image here as you can see the white spots are now gone that is this clear space so just all clear there are no pixels in there and these are um, these are two images one on the right does have the um, the pixels in them and one on the left does not Anyways, continuing on, we're going to use Photoscape X, which is a free software available on the Mac App Store. It's available for free to download, and it is a very powerful photo editor. So we're just going to let this open and then click on Editor. We're going to drag in our background, which was my uh, outro. So we're just going to go ahead and drag it in. So that is my background and we're going to take our box and just uh, command C copy and then command V paste and there you go. So there is some green around it left but I am okay with that again trial and error. But there you go so now we have successfully overlapped an image. And again this was done with Photoscape X a free software. You can also do this with preview but it is much harder and this is just makes it easier. You can always customize the photo the way you want. You can change the size of the box, the size of the logo, whatever you want you can do in this software. Alright, once you're done we have to save the file so just click save in the bottom right corner and we're gonna click save as. Make sure the file names are good for you. If you want to change them you will click save as. So just click save as you can change where to save it and I'm going to rename this file and this is our new picture here and there you go so it did save on my desktop anyways guys thank you so much for watching do subscribe this was a quick tutorial if you'd like more of these just comment down below anyways thanks for watching do subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video